This is part two of sharing the stories of women who worked on the Manhattan Project but were left out of Oppenheimer. First up is Xian Sheng Wu, also known as the First Lady of Physics. She was born in China in 1912, but came to the U.S. to study nuclear physics. In 1944, she started working on the Manhattan Project and developed a method for producing high volumes of uranium-235, which was crucial for the creation of the atomic bomb. After the war, Wu continued her work in physics and even made a groundbreaking discovery in the field of particle physics. Despite her essential contributions to the research, it was Wu's two male colleagues who received the 1957 Nobel Prize. And although Wu and Oppenheimer were close friends in real life, Wu was not included in the movie. Another important female scientist we should talk about is Leona Woods. She was the only female member of the team that developed the first nuclear reactor. She also conducted critical research about the production of plutonium, which eventually would be used in the first test of the atomic bomb. And lastly is Maria Gobert Meyer, a German-born theater theoretical physicist. Working at Columbia University's Substitute Alloy Materials Lab, Meyer made important discoveries about isotope separation and nuclear fission. In 1945, she went to Los Alamos to continue her research, but had to keep the project a secret from her husband. In 1963, she became the second woman to win the Nobel Prize in Physics, the first being Marie Curie 60 years earlier. Each of these women made the Manhattan Project possible and continued to make important contributions to their fields after the war was over. And that's history made by us.